Hello and uh, welcome to another video from uh, trainingright.com. Uh, this time we'll be talking about uh, how we can be using a shared object uh, repository in QTP. Uh, um, why, what's the need of a shared object repository and uh, how we could uh, create one and how we could associate one uh, with, uh, with a test. Well, to get started, uh, we'll open our uh, QTP and uh, I'm going to be going to um, a site called travelocity.com and uh, just to uh, have a scenario of uh, why we are using that uh, uh, shared object uh, repository, I uh, will be creating two actions. Uh, the first action is uh, we're going to be searching for um, an airline ticket um, and the next action is we'll be searching for a hotel. So I'll be creating two um, shared object uh, repository just to give you a demo of uh, how we could use it. Uh, so my uh, first <clears throat> action is going to be for um, search airline, right? And say yes to that. And uh, we'll just go ahead and insert another action, call to new action. And this time, this is going to be search uh, uh, hotel. All right. Okay. Now, um, this test is uh, for my travelocity.com. So I'm just going to save it as uh, um, demo for travelocity is the application. And this is for shared object uh, repository. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, let me bring up the application. Um, so I'm going to just open up to travelocity.com and I will try and add some objects in here from my application into my shared object repository. Okay. The, uh, we're going to keep it simple. So what I will be doing is I'll be adding uh, a couple of objects. The objects which I'll be adding is, uh, let's say we want to know from and we want to know to. And uh, I want to know <clears throat> the, uh, let's say I'll go with the flexible dates for now. And... Uh, so I'm going to add that flexible dates and then I will go ahead and then I'm going to add this, right? That's what I'm going to do. So to create a shared object repository, I have to go into resources. So here is my uh, resources and here is my object repository manager. If I want to create a local object repository, I would have clicked on object repository. But uh, since I'm creating a shared object repository, which uh, multiple tests could be using, um, so we will create one by going in there and um, over here I the way you could distinguish this from uh, a local repository is uh, a shared object repository interface here gives you the ability to save um, you know stuff like that this 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 portion would not be available in uh, the regular local object repository because you could save this right okay so now let us go ahead and then add uh, some of the objects. So I'm going to click on add objects. This is not no longer add to local. So add objects. It's going to bring up my um, application. If it doesn't, so I'm going to uh, quickly go and uh, bring it up. And uh, here I want to capture that. So I would do that. And as you can see here, the web edit had been captured. So I hit OK. Uh, Okay, there. All my PC seems to be uh, frozen here. My QTP seems to be frozen a little bit, so I'm going to give it a second for it to uh, accept that. And while it, it does that, I'm just going to go and uh, uh, there it is. Um, okay, so we have captured that. Now let us go and then capture one more. But before I do that, uh, I will just minimize my and the other one, this I'm going to minimize because that's uh, interfering in my capturing of the object. So here is my local object. And I'm going to um, 
not local object, but adding that object to the shade object repository. And that's the another one. OK, then uh, I'm going to go and then click on that one more time. And this time we are capturing for the flexible dates. All right. So that's that. <clears throat> and finally, I'm going to do this, which is uh, um, which is going down here and clicking on that. All right. OK, so far so good. I have captured those four four objects. Um, QTP is behaving a little slow here today, um, but uh, hopefully it will finish that, that operation. Okay, so after I add uh, these four objects, I could go ahead and then save my object repository. And then I'm going to show, I'm going to be showing you as how to uh, associate this object repository with any, um, with any action or with any test. Now, the difference between a local object repository and a shared object repository is a shared object repository can be shared um, by uh, multiple uh, QTP tests, right? And it could also be shared uh, between multiple uh, software testers. So uh, if you have an object repository um, that uh, you create as a part of your uh, recording of a test, uh, that object repository is local to a particular QTP test. By creating a shared object repository, as the name goes, uh, the application is going to be shared, um, or rather, the the object repository is going to be shared between um, multiple tests and between multiple uh, software testers. Okay, uh, so far so good. We got all those uh, four here. Um, hmm. Okay, now I'm going to close that. This is going to come back and say the object repository has been changed. Do you want to save the unlocking and closing of the file? Um, now I'm just going to cancel out because I'm going to show you as how you should be saving it. So you go to file and you say save as. And when you do a save as, it is going to bring you um, um, to a folder. Um, and uh, this is this is my QTP folder. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a new folder here called that uh, uh, Travelocity um, Demo and S4R. Okay. Now in there, I am going to create this as the, this is for the airline, right? So Travelocity TR and uh, airline, airline. SOR. All right. Right now we have captured about like five objects. Um, down the road we'll be capturing more objects. Uh, right. Um, so this this shared object repository is going to grow. Right. Okay. All right. So here's our uh, search hotel. So I could I could go ahead and then um, create one for search hotel, but that will be uh, almost identical to what I have just. Uh, um, you know, I, I just did for the airline. So now how are we going to associate that? Uh, first of all, I'm going to quickly write some code um, to open that uh, browser when we run the test. So I have a system util uh, dot run and uh, I'm going to be opening my iExplore.exe and the second argument here is the URL of the application under test, which is going to be travelocity.com. Okay. Uh, next thing is, in in case of our um, recorded, or if, if I have a local object repository, once I do this, it is going to quickly go and open that uh, uh, local object repository and then show me what browser I have. Now notice that right now it is not doing that. Now you might wonder why it is not doing because there's no object repository for this search. Uh, oh, we are in the search hotel. Uh, even if I take this code uh, and go into search airline and then do that, I still don't have I don't have any object repository here. I mean, if I go and open the object repository here, notice that there is nothing in here. Now, you might wonder, like, uh, we just saved uh, some of the objects into the object repository. How come it's not showing? 
Now, the reason it's not shown is because I'm looking at a local object repository, right? And the one which we shared was in a, um, or the one which we created was in a shared object repository. So how can you associate, how can you associate uh, an, a shared object repository to a, to a test or to an action in a test? Well, for that, again, we got to go into something called resources and go into object repository manager. And in the object repository manager, um, uh, what I have to do here is uh, I, no, not object repository manager. I have to go to uh, resources and associate the repositories. And in the associate repositories, uh, what you do is um, notice this area. This area is blank right now. So uh, this dialog box uh, lists the object repository files associated with all the actions in the current test. So right now it is empty. So let's go and then get that. So I'm going to click on that plus. It will open up. It will open up to that uh, path where we have created this. So if I just go one level up, you will notice that uh, here is my Travelocity uh, Airline SOR. So I'm going to take that. Once I take it, it shows over here. And then it shows like which action from this, from this uh, QTP test, which actions do you want to associate to that? Now, this I created for the airline, so I should go ahead and then do the airline and do that and hit OK. So now this airline is associated with that uh, shared object repository. If I go and do browser and do that, there it is. It is showing me that. So if I do that and then do a page, uh, now the information is coming again from that object repository. And what was the first one? I think it was... Uh, a web uh, uh, edit. Uh, so we have two web edits, uh, going to and uh, leaving from. So I'm going to select going to, uh, or was that leaving from the first one? Uh, if, we, if I go back and look into my application, uh, it's gonna, going to tell me from this, from my application. Okay, from and to. So from uh, is like uh, uh, probably, okay, uh, so this is going to is the next one. So I have to take uh, um, leaving from, leaving from dot set, and let me put some uh, airport code, uh, let's say JFK, we're leading, uh, leaving from JFK, and uh, uh, again, I'm going to be doing the same thing here, browser, uh, page, uh, page, and uh, after I do the page, I will do a web edit, and this time it is going to and i am going to let's say where do i want to go um i want to go to um mco mco is the code for orlando um in florida so let's say i want to go there right now i could from the application perspective notice that i'm writing code from the application perspective um uh, we have to um, go here and we have to do what? Uh, we have to select either that, right? Um, or I have to select the dates here, but I have not captured anything about that, right? I've not captured anything about that. I did capture that um, now. So I could select the flexible dates and then I could click on the button or I could just click on the button and see if the QTP is at least doing this. So it, QTP might come back and tell me that uh, I can't show you anything right now because you have not selected any of these options. That's fine. Let's take a look if, if, you know, if my process of creating a shared object repository and uh, um, attaching or associating that shared object repository is working or not. So, uh, let me just uh, jump in here and then do what? Um, go ahead and then say browser, browser, same browser, and page, um, same page. Um, and uh, this time it is going to be web button. And the web button is searched now. And I'm just going to go and click on that. All right. Okay. If everything is, is uh, all right, this should, this should work, right? Work in the sense that it should at least put JFK in there, put MCO, and then click on that. It might not give me the results because I have not given it any dates or not selected anything, but that's that's fine. We just want to see that this this thing works. So I'm going to put some weights here 
uh, so there's a weight of 5. The reason I'm putting a weight of 5 is so that we could see uh, that it did uh, enter these uh, values, which is uh, MCO and JFK, and then it is clicking on that. Okay, so we're going to, uh, right now there's nothing in the hotel. If you see, I have nothing in the hotel, which I could come back and then finish up the hotel. But let me just quickly go and then test this and then see if I could, uh, if this is going to open or not. Okay, for that, um, either I could go ahead and then close my existing browser, or since I'm opening it up from here, uh, that's that's going to be fine. Okay, here we go. Um, click on uh, Run. Uh, this is going to open up uh, the browser uh, for Travelocity. Keep your eye here on the From and To part. Um, it should be putting a value momentarily over there. That's because the other browser was open. So. Uh, okay, it had put JFK, it had put uh, MCO, and now uh, hopefully it is going to go and then click on that. Okay, so as we were expecting, it is it is giving us an error. They're saying that you entered uh, your entered date is invalid. Please enter or select a different. But the 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 it did complete the process of entering JFK and MCO and all that. Well, uh, so that uh, basically concludes uh, our. Uh, video where I have shown you as how to create a shared object repository um, and what was the purpose of the shared object repository how do you create one and how do you associate one uh, with an uh, with a test or with an action within a test um, if you like what you're seeing here then uh, we uh, invite you to visit uh, our site uh, uh, www.trainingright.com um, we have a bunch of courses uh, which we offer uh, through our uh, site. Uh, these are all online courses uh, for um, different things like we do cover QTP, we do Selenium training, and uh, um, if you look into the course catalog, it shows you that uh, we also cover business analysts, uh, uh, Selenium training, SharePoint training, SOAP UI web service training, and uh, if you want to find out some more details of when we are starting these courses and whatnot, then you could be going and clicking on the class dates. Well, uh, thank you again for uh, being here and uh, watching this video. Um, we appreciate your time, and we will be looking forward to seeing you in one of the classes from trainingright.com. Uh, thank you.